So let's return to one of our favorite examples now, the cycloid, and let's try to compute the area bounded underneath one cycle of the cycloid. So let's remember what the graph of one cycle looks like very quickly, and we'll write down the formulas, and then try to find uh, an integral and just compute that integral. So there's a bad picture of a cycloid, but this is the general shape of the cycloid. And remember that this cycloid is given by the equation, so f of theta has these two equations. So x of theta is equal to um, r times theta. So this is the x direction. The x direction continues to grow. Theta minus sine of theta. And the y direction, y of theta, is equal to r times 1 minus cosine of theta. And because we are asking to find an area in this direction, all right, so our last video told us how to find the formula for this, but this area that's going in this direction, these little boxes have a base of dx and a height of y. So the area here is going to be the integral between the bounds of one cycle um, of the formula for y times dx, where everything here is a function of t. So very tersely, I'll write it like this. We're going to take care of this now, though. So the theta, the theta goes from 0, so this, this corresponds to one complete rotation of the wheel if you remember the uh, derivation of the cycloid. So one complete rotation of the wheel says that theta, this should be a theta here, right? Not a t, but theta goes from zero to two pi. All right, we have a formula for y, we need to compute dx. So dx of theta is of course x dot of theta times d theta. So we just have to compute the derivative of x dot and the derivative of x, uh, the derivative of x, which is x dot. So with respect to theta, this is r times 1 minus cosine of theta d theta. So what we have to do now is write down an integral to compute this times this integrated over this interval. That'll be, so I'll write it down here. Our area that we want to compute is the integral 0 to 2 pi. These two things are the same, right? So this is r squared times 1 minus cosine of theta quantity squared d theta, this is what we want to compute. So I'll copy this integral, give us some more room, and then we can actually work it out. So here's our integral. Remember, r is a constant um, in this scenario. So that r squared can come out, our integral from 0 to 2 pi. And we want to multiply this out. So this is 1 minus 2 cosine of theta uh, plus cosine squared theta d theta, and of course from 0 to 2 pi, cosine of theta, the boundaries are the same point, um, so that'll be the same for sine after we integrate it. This term is going to go to 0, and we just have to integrate the rest of this. So this cosine squared term we're going to replace with 1 half plus 1 half cosine of 2 theta. Double angle formula, and what we need to integrate then is r squared times the integral, 0 to 2 pi, 1 plus a half, that's 3 halves, plus 1 half cosine of 2 theta, d theta, and of course this function has the same property that this one did. So this one goes from 0 to 4 pi, but that one's going to be 0 as well. If you don't believe this, you should work these two integrals out and show that those are actually 0. Um, you could make a geometric argument, you just understanding sine and cosine uh, should be enough though to say that those are zero without having to do too much work on those. And so then at the end of the day, what we end up with here is r squared, integral zero to two pi, three halves d theta. This is of course just r squared times three halves times two pi minus zero, <coughs> which is three pi r squared. And so that's the area enclosed under one cycle of the cycloid.